guys welcome and welcome back to my channel if it's your first time watching me hi my name is jada and i'm a senior project officer in today's video i'm going to be telling you guys a tad bit about my career journey i'm going to be telling you guys how i managed to elevate my career to the point where i am now working as a senior project officer so before we even get into this video i firstly want to distinguish between the two i want to distinguish between what a project officer versus a senior project officer or what a project manager versus a senior project manager so let's talk about the obvious hierarchy so whenever so whenever you're working within project management usually at the head of the program is the director followed by the deputy director and then beneath that you usually have a program manager who who usually has an equivalent deputy general manager or general manager and then further along those now you will then have a senior project officer who will usually line manage the project officer and the rest of the administrative staff who usually tend to do the groundwork within my role as a senior project officer no two days are the same and i thoroughly 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 enjoy my job and i don't actually see my career as a ladder that i climb i more see it as a jungle sometimes you slide down sometimes you're on sometimes you're on the monkey bar sometimes you're literally climbing the ladder there are different aspects as to what led me to this career so if you guys want to see more as to what my day-to-day -day looks like i'm going to have snippets of my day at the end of this vlog so you guys can keep watching and don't forget to like this video if this is something that you do enjoy let's quickly differentiate between the two before i share more about my actual day-to-day -day job a project officer tend to lead or support small scale projects they usually have a minimal or small engagement with stakeholders they usually are responsible for scheduling meeting arranging paperwork coordinating paperwork coordinating minutes disseminating reports um so they're basically just responsible for the day-to-day -day delivery of the project versus a senior project officer who use who's usually a specialist in some field within the project management realm what too they would also they will also have experience of delivering a project from start to end point or de delivering multiple projects um they will have some experience of line management and they will also be expected to be able to carry out line management roles and responsibilities another key point is that a senior project officer is also usually responsible for the for creating the analysis project initiation documents risk, risk register and essentially and essentially just documenting and monitoring the project as it progresses there are various tasks that the senior project officer also facilitates i can think about a few recruitment processes induction processes um facilitating training for staff you have to be able to do delivery presentations you name it a whole stuff stuff and these are just a few stuff that i also have to do within my day-to-day -day job so in this video i just wanted to share a few tools that i've used to actually elevate my career so the first thing that i did was that i invested in myself once you invest in yourself you literally cannot go wrong if i want to get for doing this life you must always 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 bet by yourself no matter all the odds against you bet by yourself and investing in yourself look differently to different people for one you have to be able to you have to be able to allocate time into yourself you're going to need time to get familiar with the project documents you need to be able to complete a risk register a project initiation document a a3 project plan a project planner as well as the basics like excel like excel sheets vlookup and so forth you also have to be willing to seek training and professional help so if it's that you are currently it's if it's that you're currently working within the administrative realm and you want to move into project management but within your role you can't actually facilitate any project you can start looking out for passion projects usually organization orga, usually organizations will have an improvement team or a central team that usually scales all projects and smaller scale passion projects within the team you can reach out to them and offer your services you can do voluntary work with them you can have it as a work experience you can have it as a shadowing experience where you actually speak with your manager and sometimes if you're even lucky you can have a secondment other things when you can look into if you want to get in a senior project management and you literally just have a blank page or you don't know where to start is to actually shadow someone that currently does the job and really pay attention to those transferable skills that you can pick up 
for your next role in addition to that if you can get a mentor that's also an excellent way to go and if you have cash you can also invest in yourself by enrolling into short-term courses like the fame like the infamous prince too whenever you go on gov.co.uk they also have apprenticeships you can go to the nhs you can go to tfl all of these big firms and big organizations they tend to have apprenticeships and this allows you the and this gives you the opportunity to mess up because you tend to usually work underneath somebody's wing so that gives you one experience and at the end of the course you'll be certified whilst you're working you'll also be learning and networking so to me an apprenticeship for one is one of the best routes that you can go down if you do want to get into senior project management i hope that you guys found this video useful if there was anything that I mentioned today that you guys would like me to touch on, please feel free to leave it in the comment section if you want me to expand on it or create another video. Still within project management, please do leave it in the comment section below. And I hope you guys enjoy this day in my life. See you guys in the next vlog. Bye! So I usually start off my day with some form of exercise in addition to devotion. So I do pole classes, but whenever I can't go to my pole class, I'll go to the gym because that's only downstairs. And then after that, I will go and have myself breakfast. My usual is egg, cereal, oats. But this morning I was extra hungry because I'm currently trying to stay on top of my weight gain journey. So this morning I was having some Milo tea, plantains, as well as rice and stew because I don't know, I, I just woke up starving. And I just dined by myself. This is usually the moment that I have to myself before I get into the working swing. After this, I'll get ready and then I'll start to make my way to work. That is what I'm doing, especially day like today, where I am going to multiple sites to meet multiple people. So I'm just checking in now to oh make sure that my guests know I that know, I'm here I can see and I adore working in flexible working spaces because usually we have a barrister, complimentary teas, coffees and a poor lucky snacks. So I'm just making my way up to chair my meeting. Thank you. Of course he is. <laughs> guys wanna see the sky i'm only just arriving at my station and look at the sky it's pitch black and when i was leaving out this morning okay well it wasn't pitch black this morning this morning we had a bit of a city i learned that new word recently a city a city yeah a city Usually after work, I try to do as much as life admin as possible because the shops tend to close so early. So now I'm just topping up on my groceries and I was craving big tails. So I got that as well as some other little bits. And now I'm just making my way to grab some takeaway in the area. I started with Chinese, but I was also craving some African food. So I grabbed this as well as takeaway. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. So for dinner tonight, we're going to have African food and we're going to start with some suya, which is basically just grilled African meat. And I'm having lamb suya. You can also get it in the chicken, but they didn't have any in stock. So I had to go with the lamb. I'm also pairing it with some jello fries and fri fried ripe plantains. And I have some stew on the side. The stew comes in assorted meats, which is usually cow foot or cow meat, goat meat, and some sort of beef. And then after work, I always try to put aside an hour, if I'm lucky too, to go over my university course and to also just look further into my apprenticeship. And that's usually how a day in my life goes the work that you've already been part of and doing yeah yes that makes sense so yeah. i understand what you're saying that the time that i would be so whatever i learn on the day 
on in the training because for me the biggest issue at the moment is literally managing my time and trying to plan ahead so that when i come to the classes i'm prepped on what we learned the last week and then after the class i have time to do the reflections so yeah. that I haven't been able to do since starting because that's okay. That's okay, Derek. That's okay. Yeah. People, it, you know, work at different pace, and so that's no problem at all. Okay. okay. Have you been in Tibet in the meantime? Have yeah, I've been to Bud. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. So if you are you in front of your laptop and looking at Bud, could you open up Bud if you if you let if me you open up Bud? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. And all you will need to do is hit confirm. And okay. when you hit confirm, you will log, you, you will, it will show up as completion on your dashboard and it will assign a um, off the job hours onto your, you'll start to see where it says actual in that, in the box, it'll start to give you some hours for doing that. If that makes sense which is how many hours do i need to pass so no no a 281 on the left hand side so required a minimum is 281 oh, okay but, but what we've done on the program we have over not inflated we have given you more hours of potential work to be done so even if it comes in lower than 407 we are confident <clears throat> you will be doing Two eight two hundred and eighty one hours. Okay. Of of the job time, so that includes the training days, mm -hmm. that includes coaching, that includes the projects and the reflections. It'll all start to accumulate. Okay, got it. And then also, um, I've been getting an email. Oh, I've been getting an email. I saw an email from Gov UK asking me to confirm yeah. my apprenticeship. Is that true? Yeah, it is. It is. What they're doing is changing that. I know you say you're in my line, I'm on your mind and that You want this back, so I'm cool with that I'm just trying to match your words with your actions I need more than satisfaction Did you really feel that action? Really wanna give your all, reflect some funny old friends How that works, better just do it